Hello, welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha. It is a pleasure to read for you today for the sign of Leo, Hi Leo placements. If you are new here, please hit the like, share, and subscribe. And if you are returning, welcome back. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start with a love message, then a general message. Um, after general, we will do money, and then your spirit message will be last. Okay, so we got a lot to get through, so let's get started. <clears throat> Spirit guides, ancestors, great divine, I ask for clear, honest messages for the sign of Leo. Clear, honest messages for the sign of Leo. What can you tell me about Leo in love, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? What can you tell me about the sign of Leo in love, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? <laughs> well okay so <laughs> sorry leo i'm sitting here like i am in shock i've never had this happen but we're gonna go ahead and start so the first card out is the devil in the upright we have we're followed by the five of pentacles uh, the Knight of Cups is in reverse. The High Priestess is in reverse. And the um, Ten of Swords is in the upright. One more, uh, excuse me. One more card, Spirit. They'll just round out the messages. Uh-oh. Hold on, y'all. Two seconds, two seconds. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> One of my decks fell off my desk. I guess I accidentally pushed my arm, pushed up the deck off. Okay. Let me get myself situated, honey. <laughs> okay. So, you starting off with the devil. I can tell you right now, in love... Leo placement. Somebody feels like you have been seduced by the devil, honey. <laughs> Somebody is feeling, excuse me, I'm going to fix this camera. Somebody is feeling like Leo, like y'all have been seduced by the devil. Here, and this devil, honey, she has a whip. She has chains. <laughs> she has handcuffs. She has on a sexy black fitted outfit on this devil card. But I'm not going to show it. But needless to say, the devil is here. Somebody feels like you have been tempted. And this temptation was a strong temptation. And it has taken you over. It has just taken over uh, you, uh, Leo placements. And they feel like because you have been tempted by this temptress, they are now in the five of pentacles energy. They feel like they have been left out in the cold, whatever marriage or wedding or whatever life that they thought that they were going to have. Excuse me, the light went out. Whatever um, marriage they thought they was going to have, it's no longer. Okay, we're just going to leave it off. We're just going to leave it off. It probably needs to be charged. So um, here, let me do it like this. Okay. So somebody feels like, I don't know, this kind of got a glare. Someone feels like they have been left out in the cold because you have been tempted by some seductress who has now got her or his claws on you, okay? And this is somebody who was who tempted you with, you know, they might be uh, with sex and all kinds of things. And with the Knight of Cups, they feel like this is why they have you have rescinded your offer and that you are no longer coming towards them. They feel like 
they didn't see it coming with the high priestess in reverse. They did not see this ending coming. What else, spirit? <clears throat> Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody feels like, wow, with the three of cups, you are just going off and you're just going to celebrate and you have just cut them completely off. Wow. They feel really cut off from you. Clarify the queen of swords. They feel very unhappy too about with that queen of swords. They feel like they have been cut off from you. Did you? you know, I don't know if somebody was a bitch to someone, but let's, let's see what about this queen of swords. Oh, it came out. It was at the bottom of the day. It came out again. The emperor. This is somebody who feels like y'all had, um, with the lovers, like y'all partnership ended. Like something that, like they lost control over this partnership with the emperor here with the lovers. Someone, the queen of swords feels like they lost control over the partnership. Clarify the three of cups. Oh goodness, that almost landed in my candle. With things, they thought that you all were going to be celebrating, that you were going to have a happy beginning, but they feel like with the third party, uh, look, with this, this Three of Cups, everybody on this Three of Cups, they are scantily clad, honey. You have went off and you are like, you gone off and like you living some sort of new happy life. And, they, and, and this is not their wish fulfillment, but all they feel like they've gotten in return is the Ten of Wands, honey. They feel like they've gotten burdens, okay? Leo placements. All this connection they have gotten has been burdens. They have they they have no hope about the situation. They feel like it's just a burden. It's a hopeless situation at this point. They're not gonna get what they want out of the connection. They thought that it was gonna be a happy situation, but it is not. So now instead of being in the three of pentacles where they're in partnership with you, they want the eight of swords in reverse. They want to be let free from the partnership. Hmm. You or your person, Leo. Either somebody wants to be let free of this partnership um, because they feel like a third party has entered it. Yep. Sit someone from your past may have come in and offered you some things or came towards you with the harmony in reverse. They feel like you went towards someone in your past, Leo. And this has led to y'all having arguments and having conflicts. So they're blaming the other person for their, your, they're blaming the person that you went towards is the reason why love has ended between you all and why your family situation has come to an end with the five of swords. Yep. They feel like you, that, that this uh, third party situation, this person from your past that, that, um, with the six of pentacles, like they wanted to balance, excuse me, I said six of cups earlier, but I was talking about the six of pentacles. Somebody that wanted to balance things off, they wanted you to give to the situation, but they feel like you're no longer giving due to the third party situation, which has led you to leave your family and y'all go into chaos and conflict here with the five of swords. They feel like, you know, it's just led to y'all arguing all the time and you not showing them any love. You now talking about you want a divorce. You want to leave, Leo, you or your person want to leave, but this person from your past is the reason why things have went out of control, this tempestuous, this seductress. One more card. Okay, we got two, three, and then we're going to get your person's take on it. King of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Cups. Mm. Yeah, somebody is blaming this seductress on why you no longer want to give to the situation. You are completely closed off from giving to this. They feel like with you, they should be happy and celebrating and just y'all go off into the sunset. But here, they just feel like that, that this seductress is why you just you have no love for them anymore. They're blaming the seductress. This not going well makes them feel weak um they wish that you would stop being closed off they still want to grow 
everything. Uh, they want you to stop being closed off with the four of pentacles in reverse. They want to continue to birth a relationship with you with the empress. They, you know, some, they may have even wanted to have a baby here. Hmm. They want you to come in with some communication. They want you to come back towards them and say something. They're, they're really hurt that you feel like uh, this is over with the Queen of Cups and the Judgment in Reverse. This, this is really hurting someone. Yeah, they just really wish that you would just come towards them and say something quickly. One more card, and then I'm going to go into the love messages. One more. Here, anything else? Okay. Yeah, they feel like <sighs> things used to could grow really fast between y'all if y'all would just balance out, you know, your differences. If y'all would just take some time to communicate they think the love is still there that it can grow back it, everything could grow again really quickly if y'all would just balance some things out yeah they feel like you could heal it with the five of cups in reverse if you would just come back and stop being in your nine of pentacles energy uh, independent energy and just you know let your guard down with the nine of ones and stop being so closed off and stop cutting them off and just work on it. They feel like, listen, uh -oh. so what they feel like, Leo, let, let's, let's go back. Somebody feels like there was a third party situation that you had been seduced and you ran off into the sunset with somebody who had interest of you, of, with you. Okay. You ran off. They love you. They want you to come back. They feel like y'all have something worth saving. But it's looking like in order for you to save it, you have to leave the seductress alone. And you have to come back towards them and give to the situation. They're hoping that you will come back and give to the situation. But right now, it's looking like you got your back turned, honey. Whoever you got eyes on, it's got you to where you're not looking. You, have, you are not looking backwards whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going towards this. You feel like going towards this would just put you back to juggling in your emotions. You just want to leave. So, Leo, it's looking like you're going to leave the situation regardless of what this person, how, what or how this person feels. It's like you've chosen the third party over, um, I guess, your, uh, the person you were in, you used to be in a relationship with. Okay, let's move into messages of love. I'm sorry about the light, y'all. If it's if it's too dark, I could lift that. But like I said, it's creating a glare on my face. So hopefully y'all can see me. I'm going to charge it up right after I finish Virgo's read. And then we're going to call it a night. Okay, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Great Divine, what do you have to say to Leo? What does Leo's person want to say to Leo? What does Leo's person want to say to Leo? What does Leo's person want to say to Leo? They feel like they want a second chance. They believe that this relationship deserves a second chance. They're ready to be vulnerable. They feel like they can be completely open with you. Passion. They want to try something new with you. They feel like they just need a real, like a new passionate beginning with you. Acceptance. Um, they're not accepting this with acceptance in reverse. They, they know that things happen for a reason, but they're just not accepting that it, this is over. Addiction are reflecting this relationship is also in reverse they feel like they don't have to, they're not going to accept what happened 
they feel like they've been working on themselves or any addictions that they had, that's in reverse. They feel like they've been working on it. They feel like they're a stable person now and that this relationship can stand the test of time. They think that they just need to have patience and everything will unfold in divine timing. They feel like y'all's relationship is a destined partnership with fate and they uh, feel like with abundance, they've done the work and that abundance is going to flow to them and y'all going to come back together. And they just feel like y'all just need a little bit of time to get together, laugh and goof off and enjoy each other and things will heal but when i just cut the deck again it said denial detached with love to clearly see the truth so somebody is ignoring the truth here somebody is denying the truth here and they but your person might be telling you leo that you're denying the truth that there is something between y'all that is worth saving Okay, now Leo, what do you have to say to your person, Leo? What does Leo placements need to say to their person in love? What does Leo per what does Leo's want to say to their person in love? What does Leo want to say to their person in love? They do not want to play hard with you right now. They don't want to take time. <clears throat> play hard is in reverse. Now, the other person, they still felt like all y'all needed was to get around each other, laugh, goof off, have a good time, and then maybe y'all can rekindle the feelings that y'all once had. But here with play hard, somebody else feels like they don't want to do that. They don't want to, they don't want to, they don't want to spend time with you. They feel like right now with weight, the timing just is not right. Abundance is here. Unplug is here. And true love. They feel like this love is emotional, physical, and it was unconditional. Um, it says here, working less will help strengthen your relationship in abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Denial. Somebody, again, also feels like they're in denial. That you're in denial about not wanting to unplug. You're in denial. They, they're working on their abundance. And they don't want, it's looking like they don't want to uh, spend time right now. Intuition. They feel like they already know what they want to do. And here they have go slow. They, they're going to move towards you slowly to be open with you. They're, they're, if, they, if they decide to work on it, they're going to move real slow to be vulnerable again with you. Interference. An external party is extruding on this relationship. Yes, there is a third party here. Balance. One person with the... Leo, you feel like you were giving more than the other person. Yes, you are dating someone else with interference. But with your past person, you just feel like you have to go slow before you will feel comfortable being vulnerable. You just don't want to spend time with them right now. You're focusing on your finances and um, <clears throat> that's what it is. You don't want to unplug. You're focusing on your finances. You feel like you already know what you want to do and that's what you're doing. All right, that's all I got for love messages, messages of love. Let's get into your general message and then your um, money and spirit messages. And I got to speed it up because <clears throat> I still got one more read to do. Okay, spirit guys, ancestors, great divine, please give me clear, honest messages for the sign of Leo. What are the general messages for the sign of Leo? What are the messages, what general message do you have for Leos at this time? What are the general messages for Leo? Phoenix, there's a new phase coming up. You're going to transform. Somebody might have a change of mind or they want to rekindle a past something. Somebody also wants to meet with coffee cup and have a conversation. And um, 
again this is like these cards have been picking up on the uh love messages some like i said somebody wants to meet up and if nothing else they want friendship they want to take a risk <clears throat> they're weighing out their options on how they can be strategic a seduction is also here somebody feels like a third party interference was here or and they also feel like they're very attracted to you healthy choices somebody needs to make healthy life choices in love and in life they need to just spend more time loving and caring on themselves in order to be happier anything else spirit Chaser. Somebody feels like they are the chaser and they're in a codependent relationship and they have a fear of they have a fear of abandonment issue and mad. Somebody is not showing their true feelings. They hide their uh, feelings and they pretend and they try to gaslight talking. Somebody is interested in having more conversation. So get ready. Somebody is going to send a call, text or message. Photograph is in reverse, but looking at your photos missing you nostalgia make new memories that's in reverse somebody like i see it is not really focusing on the past they kind of just moved on sunglasses watching looking stalking somebody is definitely watching you if even whether or not they talking to you or not they watching camera reminiscing somebody is looking at old photos to try to learn from the past they're re looking at um memories they're looking at uh old pictures but another person is not even focusing on that and they're telling you to not focus on it and at the top of the deck we had the sword and the rose clarity and truth is getting ready to come out um a new revelation about this relationship is getting ready to hit come out pretty soon so get ready for that Okay, let's move into your money messages for <clears throat> Leo. ancestors great divine what messages do you have in money for leo placements what money messages do you have for my leo placements okay y'all got 40 came out rebel in reverse some of y'all have overcome limiting uh beliefs you've overcome it some of y'all are trailblazers and you're going to pave the way for um new generations inspiration some of you guys are very inspirational you have the spark of inspiration of inspiration that will ignite brilliant new ideas it's essential that you clear be clear about what you want and follow your heart. Um, too many ideas are blocking you from making any idea into reality. Now, this card actually came out in reverse. So that is the message for those of y'all who are in the reverse. Too many ideas are blocking you from making any idea a reality. You're doing too many things at once. You got to pick one thing, start that, finish that, and then move on. Okay? Rescuer. I'm so tired of this card right here, but this has got to be said. Someone in your life maybe help you get back on track. However, don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Just don't give up. Right path. You're on the right path. Keep moving forward. You are not lost. Sometimes the right path is not always the easiest. Okay. Networker is in reverse. Some, some of y'all are trying to do too much and you need the support. And it's okay to help and trust the help. Now, at the top of the deck, we have perfection is in reverse. Perfection in you is causing you to stress and delay. The perfection is in you is causing you to stress and delay your progress. Listen, everything does not have to be perfect all the time. It's okay, Leo, 
It's okay for things not to be perfect. The point they're trying to say is just do something, okay? Do something. Stop having so many projects. Focus on one thing at a time. Get that done and move on, okay? And that will help you in your money. Now we're going to move right into the spiritual messages and then we're going to close it out. Spirit guides, ancestors, great divine. What spiritual messages do you have for Leo placements? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What spiritual message do you have for Leo placements? Some of you guys need to um, get grounded. Spirit is telling you it is important for you to get grounded. Some of you guys are already grounding. Um, and excuse me. Stand your ground is in reverse. It says, standing your ground is empowering, confidence, building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You need to know you can do it and know what you're doing. And knowing the annoying and excuse me, you know, you can do it and you know that by doing so you will be the victor. Now that is in reverse. Listen, now is not the time to be standing your ground. Now is the time is in reverse. Now is the time to get moving Leo. Now is not the time to be standing still. Now is the time to get get going on, on whatever you've been working on. Caregiver. They want you to know the spirit has a way of recognizing the care and love you provide others. Especially if it's helping someone towards the end of their life. Just as you received uh, care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers office, often focus their attention on their loved ones. And often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. But spirit is letting you know. They see you and you're going to be given uh, what you need because you keep giving to others and spirit sees that. So they're going to give to you. And y'all did have the rescuer card come out in the, uh, in the um, money read. Love it came out. Love is the foundation of your existence and you are just as worthy of receiving and giving love and compassion. Love can be a beautiful emotion. It is equal form of energy that propels you through life. Listen, some listen. It's funny that love is in reverse following caregivers. Some of y'all give so much to others that y'all not giving to yourselves. And you, you listen. And now is not the time to be still. At the bottom of the deck, we have soul power. Always remember your soul. You're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. All you got to do is ask. Spirit is also saying that some of y'all don't go out and have fun, and you need to. You need to get in that sacral energy, that creative, that childlike energy. It's long overdue. Some of y'all need to let go of your analytical mind and just go have fun. It will help you. That's what I got for you, uh, Leo Placements uh, Spiritual Message. Thank you for joining me here today on I Am The Light. I apologize for my camera light going out. Um, it's been a pleasure to read for you. If you enjoyed the reading, please hit the like, share, and subscribe. And like I said, if you were new here and you enjoyed it, thank you, y'all. Please hit the notification bell. You'll know when I upload. I think the, um, the next four signs coming up will probably be Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and I already did Capricorn, uh, probably Aquarius. So <clears throat> anyway, that's all I got for you. Thank you for joining me here on I Am The Light. It's been a pleasure. Until next time. Bye, baby.